Hello and welcome to this unit, which is going to be a brief introduction to neoclassical criticism. And I'm Dr. Shayanti Talwar, who will be engaging with you for this unit. So, what is neoclassical age or neoclassical criticism? So, we need to understand that the word neo means new. So, neoclassical, in other words, meant a revival of all that was practiced in the Greco-Roman period. So whatever was in fashion or whatever was popular and appreciated and lauded in the Greek and the Roman era was revived in 17th century and this was the neoclassical age. This was also called the Augustan age because the writers, thinkers and philosophers who belonged to this age uh, truly felt that their age was as glorious as that of the Greeks and the Romans and they believed that they had a uh, peaked, they had reached the pinnacle of literary and artistic success. Now, the neoclassical age starts with John Dryden and it ends with Dr. Samuel Johnson. Uh, the first phase of the neoclassical age uh, could uh, spans around 40 years, starting in 1660 and continuing up to 1700, which is also called the Restoration Age, when uh, the king was uh, the king was restored to the throne after a brief uh, uh, parliamentary form of government. And this phase of neoclassicism was pretty liberal and moderate. And uh, the critics were progressive minded and they were modern in their approach and their outlook. Uh, the second phase uh, uh, spans the first six or seven decades of the 18th century. And it was the second phase that was very rigid, uh, slavish, stringent and narrow. And it uh, had a kind of, uh, it became very dogmatic and it, it showed very strict adherence to the tenets of classical literature and classical criticism. So therefore this age also earned itself a bad name and was also called as the pseudo-classical age or the age of pseudo-classicism or false classicism because uh, of misinterpretation of Aristotle's tenets and also because there was a general tendency to attribute a lot of uh, rules to Aristotle who never actually laid down those rules or who never said anything about them. But there was this tendency of false attribution of a lot of things to Aristotle. Now, the neoclassical age was a reaction primarily to the excesses and the extravagance of the metaphysical, uh, the metaphysical age or the metaphysical poets like John Donne, you know, who, uh, which the neoclassical uh, age succeeded. And uh, this age therefore reflected a departure. It, it desired a departure from this extra begins and this exaggerated kind of uh, preoccupation uh, and creation of literary texts and it desired a, desi uh, a it desired some kind of order balance and sanity and that is how you have the neoclassical age coming up 